Man, if there's one thing that'll always get me going, <laughs> it's beating up. I really am the darkest of them all. <laughs> man, oh man, this brother's soaking to prove that he's the king of this shit. He's already a top five villain, I don't care. But before the boxing, we tune in to Megami, who's barely alive after getting snuck. He starts to explain the advanced parts of his technique, and basically, that brother's a glorified Pokemon trainer. But instead of catching them all, he has to beat their ass. Now you may be asking yourself, well Zai, why do we need to know that? Well because, he just summoned an unbeatable demon! Are you serious right now, bro? Hey, good luck, weak nigga. I'ma be honest, you'll need it! God damn, my rocket just like the sh** out of Megami. He said, get out the way, little bro. But the second Sakuna feels his presence, he heads over to the scene immediately. God damn it, man. We are so close. He almost got packed up. And learn more from the narrator about his technique, which is luck. That the markings on his face indicate how much luck he has left. And we'll look at his face. This just means that, brother, you're cooked. Oh my God. What the hell did this nigga Megami do? Did he really summon that, that Demogorgon? Shit, that nigga's stronger than I thought. I definitely gotta save his ass now. God, I love this box and shit. It's a shame they got me on a 25 to life. Dang. I guess I could just have a taste. <laughs> but you already know what's about to happen next. It's been a minute, but let me bring in the MK announcer. Round one. Fight. It starts off by slashing and stealing his big ass, but Maharaga then just sends them both flying. Sakuna then comes out munching popcorn and drinking a Bev? Huh? Even Sukuna can't forget the Bev. Never, never. For the real, this should be telling of how much black Air Force energy he's radiating. He then slices again, but Maharaga eats that shit. Oh yeah, you a crazy nigga, I like that. Maharaga tries showing Sukuna what that mouth do, but then he just starts somersaulting? Ugh, is that, what's her name, Gabby Douglas? Somebody get this brother in the Olympics, we need him. Then he kicks the shit out of him, shoot style. But then Maharaga hits him with the Shrek's breath and sends him flying. He looks like he's never even heard of a toothbrush. Breath smells like hot dogs and pig feet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Maharaga and Sukuna start mixing it the fuck up. I tried slowing this down to see how many minks were thrown in, but wow. These niggas broke the sound barrier with this shit. I'll be. At this point, they were trying it all. Sukuna wrapped him up like a worm on a fishing rod. Maharaga hit him with the whips like this was a NASCAR race. Sukuna even unlocked the switch slashes, my nigga. What the fuck? Any normal person would have been dead already. But these ain't normal people. This is a battle between real niggas. Enter in. Anime rule number 43 and a half. If two niggas are in a fight, everybody around is in danger. Until someone goes goodnight. On oh, God. Anime rule number 43 and a half is coming to play as everyone in Shibuya is being put in the action. Shibuya is nothing but a playpen to these anomalies. The people? Cattle. <laughs> yes. Destruction. I. Love this shit! Sukuna's first day out the pen has been generational. <laughs> you think I just pick up a building and yeet it at Sukuna? I cannot fathom all this goodness! But he's loving every second of it, posing for another album cover. I'ma call this one... I am the king. Sukuna tries pulling out his switch lessons again, but really, I think he's just been watching Naruto, bro. 8 trigrams, 64 palm! Neck ass. Ah, I get it now. That fucker isn't taking my attacks. He's adapting to them. He's got the power. A plot armor. Bro, that broken ass technique. That explains how someone in the past with Megami's powers was able to beat someone with Gojo's. Mm, with a power like that? You might be the realest nigga of them all. You've intrigued me, Megami Fushiguro. After meat surfing Megami, Sukuna realizes that there's only one way to put down Maharaga. Domain expansion. The prism of Packwatch. Got him. We fucking got him. Nah, bro, before we keep going, I gotta make fun of Crunchyroll, because what the fuck is a malevolent kitchen? Huh? <laughs> Sukuna trying out for season three of the bear? Maharaga wasn't the only unlucky sap to be sucked into Sukuna's domain. Pause. If you were in 200 meters of it, you're dead. You're cooked. And yet, 
Through all the slashes and all the dismantling, Maharaga continues to press on. Oh yeah, this is a real fight. That dude with the volcano head wasn't on shit. Seems I'ma have to speak that language again. Nigga language. Hoog. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Looking like an absolute monster. Sukuna brings out the fire arrow he used to destroy Jogo as Maharaga is attempting to regenerate. Boom! Half of Shibuya and Maharaga have been pack watched. Just witnessed two absolute thrashings in a row. Sukuna is on different timing. What you looking at, little nigga? Get lost. This brother thought he got saved by the luck again. Until, well, that boy falls apart like a Lego set. Boy got turned into Swiss cheese. Hold the dairy. Can finally take his rightful place in the Pack Watch Hall of Fame. As Sakuna loses control to Yuji again, he tells him to soak up the sight. The look on his face can only be described using one word. Despair. He realizes that he's got to get up. Keep moving forward. And fight. Or, well... He'll just be a murderer. Damn. So they turn the nigga into Two-Face, huh? Doesn't matter. I'm still gonna hold it down.